What are the penalties for a DUI or DWI in the state of Florida? So DUIs in the state of Florida have what we call minimum mandatory sanctions that accompany them. And what that means is by law, the court must impose certain penalties. For a first time DUI without an enhancement, what that means is no car accident, no breath test above 0.15, no children in the car, things of that nature. The standard minimums are an adjudication of guilt. The fine is just under $1,000. There is a probationary period of generally 12 months. There is a six month license revocation. There is 50 hours of community service. There's a 10 day vehicle impound. There are conditions of no alcohol, bars or clubs while on probation. So these are the standard minimum mandatory sanctions that apply to a first time DUI. Now, the problem is for every second or subsequent DUI that somebody is charged with, those minimum mandatories go up. So. It can depend on the circumstances, again, uh, what the breath test level is, uh, accidents, uh, child endangerment, things of that nature. But on a second time DUI, the time period is essential. If that second DUI occurs within five years from date of conviction of the first DUI, then the penalties are high. So there's a mandatory minimum 10 days in the county jail in addition to all the other aspects I've already gone over, and the fine is increased, generally anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500. Uh, so those are obviously very significant increases. There's also ignition interlock devices that come into play on a second time DUI within. If the second time DUI is outside of five years, then there's no mandatory jail. However, the ignition interlock and the increased fine are still in play, along with all those other standardized conditions we talked about. When you get to a third time DUI, that can potentially be a felony, especially if it occurs within a 10 year window. And that 10 years only has to start from the date of conviction of the last DUI. There's obviously fourth and subsequent convictions as well. Those are almost automatically felonies. The third within can be a felony, can also potentially be a misdemeanor. There's a lot of negotiation that has to take effect in, in those types of cases to determine what the outcome would be. But, Long story short, the minimum mandatory sanctions must be imposed by law, and they do vary from number of DUI to number of DUI. They can all potentially be negotiated in some capacity, such as length of probation, community service with the ability to potentially buy out or not buy out, um, things of that nature. Uh, the vehicle impound can potentially be waived given certain hardships that occur. So, as you see, there's complexity to this, but minimum mandatories do come into effect and you must know what they are before you can effectively represent what you want to do moving forward with the DUI.